I have 10 identical 64 gigabyte memory cards for use in my digital camera. Three of the cards are filled up with photos. The rest of the cards are empty. If I grab two cards at random before leaving the house for a walk with my camera, what is the probability that both cards are filled with photos already? All right, so it's a probability question, right? And it turns out that I'm grabbing two memory cards at random. So because I'm selecting two items, I'm going to need two probabilities or two fractions of probabilities. And of course, as long as I have more than one, I'll have to multiply them to merge them into one final answer at the end. So we're dealing with the multiplication rule of probability here. So I'm going to go ahead and write out the statement, the probability that, and it says, what's the probability that both cards are filled with photos already? So it's the probability that we end up with two filled cards, right? There's something else I want you to notice about this problem is that both of my selected items are behaving the same here. That's important. If you're gonna use the pure rule for multiplication rule of probability, you have to have all the items that you select behaving the same way. So what I mean by that is that anytime you select more than one item, you're going to be using multiplication in the process of finding the probability. However, there are times when you know, you're selecting three things and two of them are gonna have a certain trait and one of them is not gonna have that trait. That's not the straightforward pure rule multiplication rule of probability. That's going to be a hybrid rule that's going to use multiplication in it because we're selecting more than one item, but it will also use potentially addition or some other method of probability in addition to the multiplication rule of probability. If you want to use the pure rule, multiplication rule of probability, all the items should be behaving the same when you select them. In this case, both cards are filled. You know, it's not asking me what's the probability that one of them are filled, right? It says, what's the probability they're both filled? So that means I can use a straightforward application of the multiplication rule of probability to solve it. All right, good. With that out of the way, let's go ahead and think about what this two is used for. It's used to tell me exactly how many probabilities or fractions of probabilities I will need to solve the problem. So I'm going to go ahead and write out two fractions then. And the next step is to point to one of the fractions, the first one, and say, what is that? Well, that's the first card selected, right? The first card. Now, how do I want that to turn out according to the problem? I want that card to be filled. So the first card is filled, right? It's filled up. And then we're looking for the probability that that occurs. And remember, once you get to that step, you're basically saying what? Number of over total, right? Back to the old school method of basic probability. So number of cards that are filled, right? Over the total number of cards in the set. So let's start with the easy part. How many cards do I have total? Well, it says that I had 10 cards that are identical, right? So 10 identical cards. So the denominator here would be 10. How many cards are filled? That's also pretty easy. It says here that three of the cards are filled up with photos already, so three cards are filled out of the total. So I have about a 30% chance, three-tenths chance, that the card is filled when I select the first one. Okay, let's go on then to look at the second fraction or the second probability. So now it's not the first card is filled, it's going to be what? The second card, right? Second card is filled, and here's the important part. I need to change this a little bit. I need to say that it's the second card is filled given the first was filled. Why is that important here? Because first of all, that's what's actually happening in the problem. We're assuming that both cards are filled. So we have to pretend that when I selected that first one, it was indeed filled. And why does that matter? It matters because if that card was selected and I'm taking it with me on the walk, the selection is clearly without replacement. I'm not gonna put the card back down or else I'd never get two cards to leave the house with, right? So I take one, I put it in my pocket, and then I go back and get another. When I go back and get the other one, things have changed, right? For example, there's only nine cards left, right? So there will only be nine memory cards remaining, right? And then for the top, right, if I do the same approach, number of over total, I need to figure out the number that are filled, right? So we can rewrite this as number of filled, right, left on the shelf, right, divided by the total that's left after I took one card out on the first selection, right? So again, we said the total left is nine because I took one out. And then since we assume that first card that was selected was filled up, how many filled up cards are left? Well, since there was three to begin with and I took one already, there's only two remaining. So that's my answer for the problem. And that's what I have to do to solve it. I'll just say, okay, that's going to be 3 times 2, which is 6, divided by 10 times 9, which is 90. 
So it looks like both two and three, so six go into both of these numbers, but you may not know the arithmetic for the six part of it, so let's just do two. So two goes into six three times, two goes into 90 45 times, but then, hey, three goes into itself once and goes into 45 15 times. So the answer is 1 15th, or you could just divide it right from the beginning and say, hey, um, six over 90 is whatever, right? So let's just do the division to get the decimal answer, and when we do that, we'll have our solution. So what is 1 15th? Well, that answer is 0 0.066 repeating, so we're just going to say 0 0.067 to get it to three decimal places. So the answer is approximately 0 0.067. And again, that's an approximate answer, but that's basically it. So about a 6.7% chance that we would select two cards that are filled already.